Okay, welcome to Pilates today. We are going to be doing floor based exercises. We're going to start with a, a nice gentle warm up. First off, we start with the legs. A little march, then we go to side steps. check before we actually do our transition going down into the first exercise so legs up with apart we stand up nice and tall lengthen through the thighs draw the belly button in a little bit with the pelvic drop underneath okay so tuck your bum underneath long up through the upper body lift the chest up and then stand nice and tall as if a balloon is pulling up through the head so on the side, I'm going to make sure that the 
band is tucked underneath, this engages then the lower abdominals a little bit more. Shoulders are drawn back, and the shoulder blades then drawn down into imaginary pockets in the back. So as we transition into our first exercise, we take a nice big deep breath in, so the stomach wall comes out. Yeah, out. You can track through the belly button. Draw in, tuck the bum underneath, and then we just lean forwards and track. Start off the knees and then come back up. Breathe in as natural as we possibly can. Go a little bit further down this time, middle of the shins. Trying to keep the upper body nice and long. And this time we go down. Reach forward for the mat. Bend the knees. And then come onto the floor as natural as you possibly can. For the first exercise. Okay. First exercise, we're just going to have a little reminder of how to engage the abdominal wall and the pelvic floor. So we need to take a nice big deep breath in as the stomach wall rises up. We let the air out. Contract. Then we need to move the pelvis back. So we flatten the back against the floor. And we pull up inside. Remember now the sensation of pulling up inside. If we want to go for a wee, we need to stop the wee. And throughout the exercise here, then we do want to hold our breath. So we need to breathe then through the upper part of the ribcage. Okay, we relax that out. We run through that one more time. So we take a nice big deep breath in. Let the air out. We can track through the belly button, flatten the back against the floor so you feel the pelvis coming back towards you. The back moves towards the floor and it's quite tight. There's a very little gap at the back. And we hold that then for 10 seconds. Remember to pull up inside. So this is your set up throughout the class before we do any of the exercises. I'll keep reminding you. Okay, so our first exercise, we're just going to lift the right foot up. So we take a nice big deep breath in, let the air out, contract, flat back against the floor, pull up inside, and then just lift the right foot off the floor a little bit, hold in for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, relax down. Disengage with the abdominals. Nice big deep breath in. Let the air out. Contract. Flat the back is floor. Pull up your side. Lift the left leg. Only a little bit off the floor. Again, we're going to hold that for roughly 10 seconds. If you find that you're losing the contraction through that 10 seconds, point, then just put the foot back down. So we've got another two sets to do either foot.
feature, we can do a little bit of mobility where we just drop the knees up the side a little bit. Make sure that you're taking your time. Go within your range, your limitations. Straighten the legs out. Remember to move the legs one at a time. Okay, now we go into the bridge. This time, we're just going to push the bum up towards the ceiling. Try and make sure that the knees stay in line with the hips. So again, take a nice big deep breath in. Get the air out. Contract. Roll the pelvis back. Pull up inside. And then we go for the bum up. Try and take vertebrae by vertebrae off the floor. Come up to as high as you can, but try not to push the pelvis too high. Keep the knees together. Again, this is a good bum exercise. Strengthen the back. And then we roll the vertebrae back down. Just imagine that you squash some grips with each vertebrae. This time, this part of the hip needs to come off the floor a little bit, so we push the bum up towards the ceiling. So we take a nice big deep breath out. Let the air go out. We draw in. Again, we still tuck underneath. Pull up inside. Just lift that hip a little bit. And then we just lift the foot into this line the hip line and again we're going to try and hold for 10 seconds and relax the foot back down disengage if we need a little bit extra stability you can bend the knee or you can place your hands on front of the mat here but make sure that the shoulder is still taken away from the ears to stabilize the upper back. So now we'll do this one, take a nice big deep breath in, let the air out, okay, 
retract, put it back underneath, take up inside, and then just lift the foot up. Control the breathing, breathe through the upper ribcage. Try and make sure that the hips are still pointing up towards the ceiling. The little cheating mechanism is to roll back here. Relax the foot back down. Nice big deep breath in. Dead out. Contract. Take the bum underneath a little bit. Pull up inside. The last one. Just pull up. Again, if you feel the hip muscles here are getting tired, then don't hold for 10 seconds, shorter stints, or even just repetition of work. Shoulder blades, this is called a dart. You can have a little block underneath the head. If you can't put your face down, or a cord. Our hands come down to the side. So now, when we take a nice big deep breath in, you want to feel the stomach wall coming off the floor or your mat. You still want to pull the bum underneath. Palms facing down. So now we take a nice big deep breath in. Let the air out. Draw the belly off the floor. Put the bum underneath. Pull up inside. And now we just squeeze the shoulder blades together. Hold it for a ten count. And relax down. You notice my hands don't come off the floor. This is just giving me additional support. So now we take a nice big deep breath in. Let the air out. Stomach wall comes off the floor. Come underneath. Pull up inside. And then just lift the shoulders. And if we can, we bring the head up to increase the engagement between the shoulder blades. And then relax down, get out, disengage. So for the final one, I will bring my hands off the floor to show you the, the progression. Take a nice big deep breath in. Relax the 
contraction. Take a nice big deep breath in. Remember the hand for support if you need to. Contract. Bum underneath, draw up inside. exercise we need to do hip circles so again and engage your abdominal wall to play party setup the knee needs to come up drop out to the side taking it away from the body and back into the center and then back down so let's take a nice big deep breath in Contract, flat the back against the floor, pull up inside, lift the knee up. Now as we do this exercise, make sure that the opposite knee doesn't sway out to counterbalance this knee going up that way. Contract a little bit harder and then relax. So nice big deep breath in. Get out. Contract. Flat back is full, pull up its side, lift the foot. And we take the knee out to the side. Now 
one side stronger than the other, maybe. Take it down to the side. Try and keep this knee in line with the hip. take it out in front to cause a little bit more imbalance because of the weight of the leg. Make sure again you're comfortable underneath the head. Bend this leg underneath the body, the one that's against the floor. So let's take a nice big deep breath in. Let the air out. Contract. Tuck the bum underneath. Pull up inside. Push this up a little bit, take the shoulders away from the ears, we come up, and take the foot out, hold for four, three, two, one, and come back in, and then relax back down. Disengage, relax everything. Nice big deep breath in. Let the air out. Contract. Bum underneath. Pull up inside. Lengthen this leg. Push 
touch the hip up towards the ceiling. Lift up. Hilt in front. Again, we're going to do a transition exercise. Again, we're going to go up into the bridge. It's a great exercise for stabilizing, getting the bum working so it stabilizes the back. So take a nice big deep breath in. Let the air out. Tuck up inside. Knees in line with the hips. We push up. Roll in the back out. Make sure there's no stress on the neck. Knees are still in line with the hips. Keep the contraction on. Create one for the, the bum. Again, just hold it for 10 seconds. If you can't hold for 10, 10 seconds, you come back down. If you lose the contraction, you also come back down. Come on to the exercise. As we come down and lower, just imagine that each vertebrae Squash in the crib. Control one down. Now I'm going to turn over so I'm going to be away from the camera. So I'll start off with my leg underneath the body, touching the mats. That's going to be slightly bent, my chin is lifted up. Head is nice and comfortable. A nice big deep breath in. Put the air out. Contract. Put the bum underneath. Lift up. And then just take the leg out as much as we can. It's comfortable. If your leg starts shaking at this stage, I'll be the that we need to bring it back in. If it drops, we need to bring it back in. Great exercise for working these glute muscles, the bone muscles on the side. Nice big deep breath in. Now we're just going to do a little bit of a cool 
Pull down a little bit of stretching. We start with some mobility because we've been lying down. Just drop the legs down to the side. Option is to turn the head in the opposite direction. And then just come back in. Nice and gently. Change direction. Just run more either side. hands underneath the calf muscle on top of the upper thigh and then we just pull the leg towards us a little bit just for 10 seconds you can hold longer relax down nice and gently chin sides creates a butt stretch. Now we're going to go for a hamstring stretch. Lift up. Extend the leg up. And now you can have the hands, depends on the flexibility, anywhere up the back of the leg. You can even have an assist with a towel going over the foot, but try and relax the foot. And you bend the knee. Relax the leg back down gently. And we change sides. seconds or maybe three or four breaths. stretch now we just let gravity take its course Then relax. And turn over. So where I held onto the, you can either hold onto the foot or the sock. Try to keep the knees together and 
try and pull the foot up into the bum area. Again, depends on the joint limitations. Try not to push the wood. Facebook page and we'll get back to you with all the answers.